Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today is the start of probably one of my best solo Polaris survival series. In this series we're going to do it all, we're going to do a lot of PvP, a lot of base raids, a lot of base defense, and in general having a really really big base and getting quite a ton of loot. In this episode we're going to start off quickly with the Rex Riches and starting off with our plans, a lot of PvP and getting our first day done. If you guys want episode 2 to come out soon make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that in the first 24 hours I will upload episode 2 next. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one, which is a party OB, which was donated by Vibing. If you guys want to win this mythical, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment something below. There's also another mythical giveaway happening in my Discord. Shout out to Frosta. If you want to join my Discord, make sure to join by using discord.gg slash ldg. Also, the five mythical giveaway May edition is over and the winners all have been emailed. Today we're starting the June edition one with five new mythicals. To participate, the link will be below. Today's video is sponsored by Gamers XP. You guys want to get rewarded while playing games? Well, now you can. Gamers XP offers a server where you can win Steam gift cards, V-Bucks and much much more. The games currently include Rocket League, Fortnite, CSGO, PUBG with much more coming out soon. You can get tokens by completing daily quests, for example today's Rocket League daily quest was playing a competitive game. Once you finish your competitive game you get these tokens instantly in your wallet. They also have an active Discord community where they host weekly and monthly game giveaways and much more. The link for Discord as well as the app will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Polaris. Now as soon as you join the server, you get a vector. That's literally it. Now this server I have played on it before, but the server has wiped. And last time we did a very very good wipe as well. We got ourselves one of my best Polaris short movies. And today we're gonna join, but this time I'm probably gonna try to do a series. Since the server is always active, there's always PvP going on, there's always base raids to raid. So we're gonna give it a try. Now since we're going to do a series, I want to do a lot of things. First of all, I want to build myself a pretty decently sized base. I don't want a one by one or two by one. I want to at least make a three floor base, possibly a metal loot room, but obviously that comes later. For now, what my goals is, is I'm gonna try to get as much loot as possible. Now, there are some kits in the server, but uh, the best kit that you can get is like a kinney kit, which has a cooldown that is quite high as well, but for now, we're not going to use it at all. Now, this server allows multiple beds. I'm pretty sure it allows two beds, so perhaps having a second base would actually be pretty cool as well to be honest. First things first what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get some loot as well. Maybe we'll go to a military location. We need to get ourselves an axe. Yeah, we got ourselves a block. There are a bunch of seeds, but we don't really need those. The leather, we can make it into cloth. Now, I was thinking of building the base very, very close to an unmarked military location. I've actually thought about this. Here we got ourselves an axe. Let's salvage one. Also, the loot is pretty much normal. Each zombie drops one item, so it's not high times. But the only thing is that when you forge something, like when you forge an axe or a pickaxe or a Polaris flowers, you get two of that, which is a bit high. But other than that, everything else is normal. So it's like a vanilla server, except the fact that there's TPN at home, which is pretty good. Oh, I saw a guy. There's a guy. All right, we're gonna get ourselves our first epic kill. I don't know if he actually has anything. He didn't seem that looted. There's a dead zombie. There's a guy. He's running away from me. Oh, I think he heard me. He's trying to look for me. I'm right behind him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah, he has some loot. He has some clothes. He has a Moses crossbow grill. Uh, that's pretty nice, to be honest. That's not too bad. All right, our first kill. Good. Now, since we got ourselves an axe, maybe we can start building a base since we got some loot as well. I don't want to lose it. Some extra guns. Also, on the server, there is a shop system where you can buy a lot of items. Like, gunpowder costs 500, and each zombie gives you 5, so you need to kill quite a lot of zombies to get that. All right, salvage everything so we get ourselves some metal. And probably next step is I'm gonna start building a base. And there's some wood. So let's start chopping down trees. We'll stack them into logs. Another axe. Let's salvage that. Alright, so for now I'm gonna build myself a one by one with a triangle at the side. I don't want anything too big for now. I just want somewhere to start storing loot. But yeah, let's get ourselves the pillars. So this is the location where I'm building. We're close to a lot of places. First of all, we're close to the mines for metal, we're close to St. Erickson for copper coil, we are close to a truck to get lotuses, and we are close to an unmarked military location, which, you know, we can get military loot. At the same time, we're close to Haze so that we can farm the boss zombie because that guy gives us quite a ton of money, he gives us 400 each time we kill him, which is not that bad. And from there, you know, we can get biohazard trolls for a gas mask. So I think this is one of the best locations to build a base on Polaris. All right, I'll put ourselves the roofs. And I placed that incorrectly, nice. Yeah, salvage is quite slow on this map. Wait, we need to salvage the crossbow. Alright, we'll place that right over there. Now we gotta do ourselves the door. 
Hold on, we need to do a sheet first and we got ourselves a scrap door. Lovely. The base is technically built. All right, we'll put ourselves our bed here. Now we need to get ourselves some storage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some more logs in order to make lockers. We need a blowtorch, so we'll try to get that soon as well. All right, salvage the crossbow. All right, let's drop the stuff we don't need. We can place the rope, so let's put that there. All right, let's get ourselves some more logs for storage. Good thing is that one hit, a tree is instantly chopped down. Takes four wood per crate if i remember correctly all right yeah we got ourselves enough wood to make a couple of crates amazing and now we'll start looting hopefully with the vector we can get ourselves quite a ton of loot because everybody that logs in will instantly get this vector all right place the crates got ourselves four that's pretty good yeah put the moses the extra wood the extra metal cloth even our vault we could empty it and start putting them over there now i'm gonna put the gun in my vault just in case i die and i spawn somewhere where i hear pvp i will always have it as backup all right, and here we go. Let's start looting. All right, so this is the unmarked military location that I was talking about earlier. Now, every time that I die, I will just come here to get military loot, military outfit, guns. Plus, not that much people actually come here. A lot of zombies do spawn, and there's crate spawns and everything here. There's fuel as well, just in case I get a car, but I doubt that, to be honest. Same time, we can farm zombies for money, too. All right, we got ourselves a vest. Oh, there's a guy coming. And he's dead. All right. I didn't see this dude. All right, well, he has cyan crystals. That's pretty nice. He had a gun. Nothing that good, though. But cyan crystal is always good. Because we're gonna need a lot of them. We got ourselves a kinney. There's a grenade. That's useful as well. All right, let's see that we didn't leave anything important. All right, we are back from base from our first loot run. So this block had an upgrade kit, which I'm probably never going to use it. But yeah, we got ourselves tape, crystal, armored plates. I can put a better stock on this frizzy, so that's pretty good. All right, so now we'll probably go to Haze next. Try to get ourselves the Mega Zombie Kill. Pray for a broken Ghost Mask or Military Drive. That's honestly all I want from it. Got ourselves an extra gun too, so that's pretty good. Also, the Ghost Cans and the Generators, I'm going to take them. Because we can make Horde Beacons, and Horde Beacons are the easiest way to actually get Lotuses. But we still need to get ourselves Copper Coils to do Horde Beacons, so we still got ourselves some stuff to get. All right, so I'm currently at St. Eric's, and I hear shots. I think that's over at Haze. We got ourselves a blowtorch which is really good something that we need this dude drop tape as well nothing that good there's another tape over there i'm gonna vault the blowtorch all right so i think the copper coils were already taken because usually we would hear like sound effect when you're close but i, I don't hear it yeah and there's loot on the floor so somebody definitely was here and they took them there's a billion zombies here jesus oh, I, there's a guy running right in front of me i think he may have looted oh, wait just stood still all right, yeah, he has some loot. Full biohazard outfit, bunch of fibers. He had a rattlesnake, which is one of my favorite guns. And this guy, all right, well, this guy has a walnut. All right, hey, yo, that's not too bad. Walnut, very good gun. There's a jackhammer as well on the floor. Let's see what else we can take. So this is what a loot pile when somebody logs off is. For some reason, this dude just logged off in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we could home with another full inventory of loot. Yeah, my inventory is full. A bunch of guns, another kill, and some important items. Not too bad. An Umbra box too, for some reason. All right, let's go. Time to depot this. And we'll go back to Haze. Now we're over at Haze. Trying to get as much Haze clothes for filters as possible so we can... Make ourselves a hood. All right, let's salvage them all. We got ourselves a lot of rope from it as well, too. So I won't complain that much. And then we'll go kill the boss zombie. All right, the boss zombie is here. Hopefully, we get something that we actually want. If I get a grenade launcher, I'm gonna be upset. All right, Paris magazine is in. We should die. Yeah, there we go. Oh, broken gauze. Oh my god, perfect. The most thing that I've needed was a broken gauze mask. Let's go. All right, we'll put that in vault. All we need is a filter. And to make a filter, we just need two lotuses, I'm pretty sure. Rope and cans. So that's very easy to make. That's really, really good. The rope. Put the biohazard fibers that we got. We got two stacks, which is not that bad. And the generator. So to make a hard beacon, we need copper coil, a grenade blowtorch, and sheets. All right. All we need is copper coil then, so let's focus on getting that. So the first thing that we gotta do is a hard beacon for sure. Because it's gonna drop like two. Since whatever you forage on the server is high, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give us more than one lotus. When an airdrop is passing by, obviously I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully it won't attract the whole server. Because I don't think I can kill the whole server with just this gun. And with barely any armor. Oh, well, the airdrop is landing right here, but there's like four guys that just paused in front of me. I'm gonna try to get... Yeah, they're geared as well. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. There's three guys. My right, first guy dead. Push this guy next. Oh, he's right back there. I don't think he knows that I'm behind him. He's right over there. Bro, where's he going? You know who. Oh, okay. 
He's dead as well. All right, there's obviously more. And I'm dead. All right, third guy killed me. Nice. All right, so I'm over at the mines. I'm gonna try to get as much metal as possible. Too bad that three men team, the last guy killed me, man. They were literally only three. They were all stacked as well. If I killed the third guy, I would have gotten probably the best Rex searches ever. Because one of them had a PMC backpack as well. It was crazy. But it's fine. We'll try to kill them later on. I mean, probably not the first time we're gonna see those guys, to be honest. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get some metal from here so that we can start making lockers in our base. And we're gonna need cans as well in order to progress later on. Alright, well, I made two safes. Not too bad. Still got ourselves a lot of metal left, so I'll probably just make them into sheets and into cans. We'll use them later. Yeah, two cans. That's that's pretty good. Put the axe and the pickaxe there. And now we'll go continue loot. Right, I'm back over at Hayes for the second boss zombie kill. Hopefully, he gives me a drive because that's all I want. Alright, first magazine. Uh, yeah, drive. Perfect. Again, what I needed. These little zombies are being very, very good today. Usually they just give me grenade launchers, man. But not today. So let's go. Alright, so I bought myself the two copper coil to make the first horde beacon. They don't cost that much, so we're gonna go give it a try. I'm probably gonna do it at Norva. And we're gonna use the jackhammer to kill the zombies. They aren't that hard, to be honest. They're not that hard to do on Polaris. And we're gonna get two lotuses, which is pretty good. Hopefully we don't die by some random players. There's a lot of teams on right now as well. A lot of villains. And I'm only gonna go with Takini, so hopefully it goes well. Alright, so we'll put it here, Horde Beacon time. Yeah, they die quite easily, and we're gonna get a lot of money too, to be honest. So we're gonna get back the money for the Copper Coils, 100%. Yeah, I placed it at a pretty good location, because I could just slide around. <laughs> They're hitting me though, and I need to be careful not to go too far away, because the Horde Beacon will break, and we don't want that. Maybe I can actually shoot them down, to be honest. Oh, I almost died there. Wait, do I have no... Yeah, I have meds. Alright, let's med up. Oh, there's a guy. Ah, oh, he's dead. Alright, let's loot him afterwards. Let's just finish this horde. Let's just shoot them down, man. I can't be asked. Plus, people probably heard me shoot, so they might try to counter me. Alright, the, the boss zombie spawned. I hear him. And he's dead. Well, that was easy. Uh, I thought he was stronger, but never mind. This is last dude. Oh, still more. Alright, and it popped. Alright, let's go check out what loot this dude had. There's a base here, we gotta be careful. Well, I had a block, some meds, let's just take the ammo. Let's get the lotuses and get the hell out of here. Maybe we got ourselves our, yeah, two lotuses. Pretty good. Alright, let's home. Let's put that in our inventory and put the lotuses in our vault. And Horde Beacon is finished and we are safe. Let's go. Big W's. Alright, an eco, that's pretty good. Alright, so it's a full moon, so it's good to farm zombies. More money, but... I'm here to actually go to the construction site to get tape. We need tape to continue. And perhaps afterwards we can continue farming some more metal. Wait, there is a car coming. Alright, and he is dead. Okay, and he is stacked. Bro, he has a gas mask. He has a mercenary backpack. Dude, he has everything to make lotuses. He's actually really, really geared. And this guy has a rank too. Alright, let's home. Let's get out of here. Alright, yeah, we got every... Wait, what? Bro, he came back. Wait, what? Dude, how did he come back? I literally just killed the same person and then he's just there at the same place and he... Alright, well, I'm gonna go back. He had another kit. All right, we can make more horde beacons if we want to, actually. We got ourselves a gauss mask, which is huge. We basically saved a filter to be crafted, so we saved, like, two lotuses, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's depot everything. I'm not gonna go with the mercenary backpack either, obviously. Since it's our only one right now, and I don't want to risk it. And he is... I don't know what he just said in the chat, but I think he's, he's being sad that I killed him twice. And he TP to me. Yeah, he's a platinum, by the way. So I don't know what kind of kits he has. He may have the huge, the biggest vault I have ever seen. Obviously, I'm not gonna accept. Right, he said accept TP. I'm just gonna straight up say no. Is he solo? Yeah, he's solo. He just died again. I don't know how to deny on this server. I really want to deny the TPA. Yeah, I don't know how to t deny. Yeah, he's saying your house being destroyed after night. Okay, bro. I don't know what he's talking about. Alright, well, actually, I'm gonna put the mercenary backpack in vault because I think he's gonna be there. Uh, let's put the grill in our inventory. It's fine, it's only a grill. Alright, let's go without a backpack. He came back with a kit, so let's go see what kind of kit he has. Bro, I honestly don't know how he got back, though. Alright, well, this guy is actually being mad right now. Bro, he needs to calm down. He probably only lost, like, one of his kits. Alright, afterwards, after we see what kind of loot he had... Oh my god, this guy is so mad. Alright, we only had the kinny kit. Wow, he's getting mad over a kinny kit. Bro, I don't think I've ever seen this much toxicity coming out of somebody that can just get everything by buying it. Yeah, he's still going on. 
Alright, so since we're here, let's get as much tape as possible, even generators. I don't know if he could be like an admin, since he TP'd back, I, lit I literally have no idea. Because that's not supposed to be a thing. Or maybe he bought that perk. It could be possible, since he's a platinum, he may have bought it. Or he's just an admin, who knows. Yeah, our inventory is full, let's put the tape in there. Bro, he's still going on. Bro, this guy really needs to shut up. Alright, got ourselves a generator that's an easy horde beacon. I'm just gonna ignore him, honestly. Alright, so I'm back in base. Uh, I made myself a safe and with one armored plate, I think. Or two, actually, I'm not sure. We can make uh, an armored locker, which is pretty good. Yeah, we can make one. We already had one, actually. Uh, let's make a display one. Right, our first display locker. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna display a metal sheet for now. And perhaps we can actually make ourselves another horde beacon. We should have everything to do it. Maybe we just need to get ourselves a grenade, actually. Actually. All right, boys, this is hard beacon number two time. I placed it at a bit of a weird place. It's inside this barn, but all the zombies gotta come from three entrances. I'm just gonna shoot them. And it's a full moon as well, so I don't really think it matters. But we'll get ourselves two more lotuses from this. And I think this is much safer for counters, to be honest. Because they only can come from three locations. Oh, wait, we could just... Wait, we could just stand here and they wouldn't even get to me. Yeah, I got a ton of ammo, so I should have enough to finish this just by shooting them down. Okay, well, this guy just spawned in front of me. All right, they're taking a while to get here, though, some of them. Bro, with two shots, they die. It's so... They're so weak. Wait, what? All right, well, normal zo I think that was a normal or a mega. I actually don't know. Yeah, they can see where they're spawning. They're, like, glitching everywhere. All right, let's kill them. Two more. We should be getting close to finishing now. Where are they? Oh, there's the mega. Alright, let's kill them. He is dead. And it popped, I heard it. Alright, two more lotuses. Let's go, big W. Andro, epic. Alright, let's home. Let's vault the lotuses. In case somebody shows up literally right now. And we still got way too much ammo. Let's drop the empty mags. Yeah, we are back in base. We can make a ton more since we killed the platinum and he had a lot of loot. Wait, there's a guy. Uh, what? Dude, this guy's just chilling. Alright, he's dead. Anything good, bro? Oh, yeah, not bad. He had a Merlin, a backpack, military, grenades. That's very good. Grit, some clothes. Yeah, we'll take everything and salvage him. He had fish. Let's go. And I think... Wait, did he kill somebody there? There was a Merlin. Yeah, I think he killed somebody there. Alright, let's home since we got ourselves another full inventory. Uh, we're back in the caves with the jackhammer, trying to get as much metal as possible. The next thing I want to do is I want to continue upgrading base. Maybe start the second floor. And part of it, obviously, it needs to be metal. And with one wall, we need six sheets. So it's going to take us quite a lot of farming to get a full metal base. Alright, so I crafted the doorway so that we can start having ourselves a functional airlock. Can we not put a bed? Can we not put the door blocked? Wait, is it the tape? Oh, yeah, it was. Alright, let's go. Now, this is going to be the loot room. Out there is an airlock. For now, put the fibers here. Alright, and maybe from outside the airlock, actually it won't be an airlock anymore. From there, we can continue upgrading base and maybe make a staircase or something like that. But for now, let's put the cans there. And very soon, I will go farm as much wood as possible so that we can expand our base. Alright, so we're back. Got myself a uh, lots of logs. I had to salvage the door. And our shot's very, very close. And here we'll make it a staircase for the second floor. And then we'll upgrade the first floor later on. Like, we'll make it bigger later on. But for now, I wanna get myself a second floor done. Mainly because it's very, very good for when there are people door camping. Which is probably gonna happen, to be honest. Since we're gonna try to play multiple days on the server. Alright, let's unstack the logs. Got 114 more wood. Alright, well, that's quite a lot. Alright, put the pillar there. Now, since it's triangular, this part over here is triangular. Maybe up here we'll make it the main loot room for now. Like the triangular part onwards. Alright, the pillars have all been placed. Now we gotta do all the walls. Actually, I'll do windows here and then we could just jump straight out instead of a door. So that's gonna be our only exit and we cannot enter from outside. We can only just slash home. I think that's a good tactic for people that try to door camp. Later on, we're gonna make ourselves a claim flag too then. Alright, we still need two more walls, and then the roofs, and then we'll put a doorway here, we'll make some shutters. That's a pretty nice base design, to be honest, till now. It's kind of different than usual, but at least more spacious. Yeah, for a shutter, we need, uh, we need metal. We need, uh, I'm pretty sure, one sheet per shutter, like a normal door. Luckily, we have a can over here. And I'll put a doorway here too afterwards. Alright, let's decompress that. Alright, three shutters. Two, three. There we go. Now I'll put a doorway. Right over here, and another one over there for even more honeycomb, and we'll make one door. Alright, pretty good, man. I'm liking how the base is till now.
Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy our episode. So we will continue with much more PvP and we're gonna do our first base raid in that episode as well. So if you guys do want to see more in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!